Ugh. You know what I found has been a trend in these PM vlogs, these PM videos, is uh, Peter, me, standing next to a curtain, <laughs> uh, talking from beside a window in a hotel room. It just looks so good. It's diffused light, it's from the side, it just, I can't not do it. It always looks good. <sighs> okay. I just got off a very long flight from Toronto direct to uh, Dublin, then got in a car and drove to Belfast, Northern Ireland, and I'm here for the Power of Video 2019. Giving a talk this week and uh, a panel and some other things maybe that I'm not sure about yet. I'm here with a bunch of very cool people, very cool creators. We got Cody Warner here, Potato Jet, all my friends, Sean Duras, Holiday Trav, the crew. We are here. Uh, for a few days just to have fun and, and just mob around. So it's gonna be great. It's like a good old PM vlog, like a good old classic PM vlog, and I am hyped for it. Albeit very, very tired. And look at all this cool stuff here. And I walked in and I was on the screen. Look, that's me. That's a cool little touch. I like that. But here's the thing. So the lo, uh, we gotta go back to the window. Let's get in dramatic for this. The location manager from Game of Thrones the dude that's like, we'll shoot that scene here, is taking me out personally to show me a bunch of dope spots where they shot the show that aren't open to public. And when that happens, you just say, yes, please, tell me where to be and I'll, I'll bring my coat. <laughs> Speaking of coats, look at this. Do you guys remember this puff coat? This means winter is coming. And I didn't just say that because it's Game of Thrones. Like it's actually, it's getting colder. I, I don't want to be the guy that's you know, you're outside, and you're like, oh, it's getting cold, and I'm rambling. Oh. I don't think I'll ever get used to that right side drive. I keep walking <laughs> to the other side by accident. Yeah. What's up? This is the guy hey. that's taking me everywhere. So. How's going? so you would just drive around in this and look for dope spots to shoot the show. Pretty much, yeah. You would uh, you get the summary of a script early in the year, usually sort of January, February and then I'd make a short list of where I think things might be. And then we literally go and scout them. And then <laughs> from that point, producers come in and directors come in and art department comes in. And Lots of driving. Yeah, heaps of driving. Lots of driving and exploring. This building here was the end of the crossroads. Countless scenes filmed inside here with Tyrion and uh, with Arya and the butcher's boy coming back. Great location to shoot. So if the location can provide something this unauthentic, then you're really onto a winner. Then you don't have to actually go out and build a castle. Because here it is. Yeah. It just does what it's supposed to do already, you know? Yeah. Wow, look at it. Bit of fire, bit of atmosphere, bit of smoke. And That's so cool. end of the crossroads. It looks scary in there right now. If there was anything rotting, like we would spec the same replacement timber. And at times we had to take the floor off to shoot through for lighting or for camera angles. But we would have to label each plank and put them back in the same order so that you left it exactly like you found it. So the tables were on this side, right? Yeah, there was a stove down there with a flue sticking out, a chimney flue. Yeah. The Aria hot pie scenes were up there when she sees him again. Yeah. Um, I definitely remember it as like, kind of yeah. like, a, like a little bar, like a little pub. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How'd you find all these spots? You just wander out here? Oh, I've always heard about like the Irish countryside. Never actually, I've driven by it. I feel like I've driven down the roads. I've never actually got to see it. It doesn't get more countryside than this. What? These sheep freshly shaved, they're so soft. I just want to take one home and hug it. Dude, look at that. What the actual? Yeah, so this is where um, Ned Stark decapitated one of the Night's Watch for defecting. And the idea here was something close to Winterfell to perform the execution. And ideally with a sense of grandeur and some kind of, you know, gravity and importance. And there was a real sense of drama and, you know, the guy got dragged in. And once that was established, this whole region became exterior Winterfell. There's a lot of sheep here. This is one of the biggest sheep farms in the UK. There was often a need to move them. So the question came up, the consideration is, it, is it cheaper to physically move the sheep or would VFX do the trick? In the earlier years, it was cheaper to physically move them. So we would have to often move a few thousand sheep with quads, the whole operation, boys coming in, dogs. And then in the later years, the VFX sort of really increased its kind of dominance over certain parts of the show. And um, 
they just color them in and move them for us. You'd never think that would be an issue. Yeah, <laughs> sheep and fences. So any fences that you see, there'd be a cost calculation of, that's like $5,000. <laughs> you just look around and see dollar signs. It's like, ah. Yo, that's so sick. Rob just finds this place. And then just flames all the way down. All the way down, yeah. So this features very, very often in the story. It's one of those places you revisit continually. Do you guys remember last year when I was in Ireland, uh, Will took me to the forest where the opening shots of Game of Thrones were filmed. Like the very first scenes ever that you ever saw of Game of Thrones were filmed. I'm in this forest, and as you may have guessed, this is where the final shots of Game of Thrones were done. But this scene right here, that is where he basically just rides his horse off into the north, and it's all covered in snow. 10,000 square meters of snow, bam, blasted back there. Our boy Johnny Snow just, just cruising right to the back. So now I've been to the, the very first scenes and the very last scenes, so we're done. That's, uh, I never have to talk to you about Game of Thrones again. I did my part. I could use a little, like a little bit of sugar. Okay, this seems like a pretty good place for a story time. Now, funny thing that happened several months ago, because we're on the topic of Game of Thrones, when the last episode aired, I was actually in an airplane headed to San Diego. I shouldn't have done it. But then I realized, looking at the calendar, that I was flying out on the night of the finale. I was going to miss it. Now I tried to stream it from the plane. Obviously, that didn't work. So when I got off the plane, the first thing I did, airplane mode. Don't want any spoilers. I, I debated walking through the airport just with my ears plugged. Couldn't find a way to download it anywhere. Wasn't on iTunes. Not on Netflix. Just aired. It wasn't airing later. We already missed the, the second air time, which was like 11 p.m. Blew past that. And there's an app, kind of like Netflix and Canada called Crave TV and they have an HBO package and you can watch Game of Thrones. It was about 1 a.m. at this point, so that's California time. So back home, it's like four, I'm super tired. Logged in, got ready, you know, got into bed, got my phone, I was like, here we go. Hit play and it said, sorry, it doesn't look like you're in Canada. You can't watch this. I thought maybe that's just because it's not my account. So I, I logged out of his account. I, I signed up for Crave TV, paid for Crave. I paid for the HBO package. I got it all set, ready to go. <gasps> it was time. Hit play and then the error message came up that said, sorry, you're still not in Canada. So at this point, I'm starting to rage. I just want to watch Thrones. It's the last episode. Like, come on, why is it so difficult? So what was I doing? I was pacing back and forth and I remembered, bam, VPN. I can make it look like I'm in Canada and it's gonna do the VPN magic. So I signed up for NordVPN super fast, did all of those things, took no time at all, chose a server in Canada, opened up the Crave TV app, hit Game of Thrones, and then it worked perfectly and I fell asleep. I fell asleep and uh, spoiler alert, I woke up and Daenerys was dead. It was a horrible time to wake up. I was very confused, didn't know what happened. I mean, at least I, I had connection, but um, it was a kind of garbage way to watch the last episode, but at least I got to watch it, so. Also really important, if you're gonna use a VPN, it protects everything. You know when you leave the hotel room, you put your phone or your wallet in the safe? Well, that's kind of like putting your entire life in a safe online when you connect to public Wi-Fi. So in hotel rooms like this, or airports, or different places, cafes across the world, when you're connecting to get that update, to get that download, your emails, your videos, your footage, run it through NordVPN, save yourself. There's a reason you put your goods in the safe when you leave. You should do the same thing here. Everything, all the links are below. Check it out. Thanks for sponsoring this video. I still have gum in my mouth.
that's okay.